Would you stop doing that, please? I'm sorry? I know that things are strange, but I can't help that right now. Well, I live in a barracks with a dozen militia assholes, and my wife lives in a private tent up on an officer's ridge. Nothing strange about that. Deacon. And the only time that I see her is when I'm done running one of her errands. Nothing strange about that either. Uh, are, are you baking something? I mean, if you need an oven, I know no, we're fine. No, no, I'm using it to create <clears throat> viral proteins that they, they trigger these antibodies. But of course, you are being sarcastic. Bread, viral proteins, it's all the same to me. Hey, wait a second. Yeah. Thank you. You already said that. I went for stay. Yes, ma'am. Set them over there. Thank you. Corporal St. John, this is Dr. Jimenez. St. John? Been busy out Hey, Doc. This is Deacon. Mm -hmm. What can I do for you? St. John, good. I need you to stop by the infirmary. Uh, is something wrong? You need something? No, no. Nothing like that. I want to check on that arm. My arm? My, my arm's fine, Doc. <laughs> a burn like that from a wood stove is nothing to play around with. You want La Infección? You come see me. That's an order. All right, Doc. All right, fine. Whatever you say. St. John out. Well, yeah, it makes sense. I'd do that if I had enough credits, you know? St. John, this is Captain Curry. Come in. Yeah, Captain. I'm here. Well, I just wanted to let you know that the Colonel gives an informal talk every day at dusk at the staging area where you were sworn in. Uh, yes, sir. Now, while these talks are informal, enlisted men and women are expected to attend. <clears throat> uh, copy that, sir. Curry out. Oh, right. A commander who likes to give fireside chats. Can't wait. Yeah, okay. Corporal St. John, you stay safe, yeah? Hey, Corporal. Hey, man. Hey, Sarge. Corporal, see ya. Hey, Corporal. How's uh, life? Someone back Sergeant. Here. Hey, Doc. Uh, Come in. Siéntese. Have a seat. Have a seat. Mm -hmm. oh. Let's look here. So, who did you ride with back in the day? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're uh, getting at. No me mientas. Look, Corporal, I spent 20 years in East L.A. patching up bandas de motoristas and every other kind of pandillero. I know the look. And this? No kind of wood stove did this. Hmm. All right. Keep it clean. It'll heal on its own. Leave a nasty scar. But I want you to come back and see me in a couple of days. You got it. Funny thing, 
When the city burned and the hordes came in, neighborhoods at war for decades all came together, fought together. Latinos, Gueros, Chinos, Bloods, Crips. Didn't matter. Crazy what it takes to bring people together sometimes, no? Thanks, Doc. St. John, come in. Taylor, take it, St. John. Taylor. Today's dozens of new recruits have joined our ranks. We welcome. We do not care about the color of your skin. We do not care what... ...country you were born in. We do not care if you are a man or a woman. We do not care if you are gay or lesbian or bisexual or transgender. These are things beyond your control. These are things that God... As ordained, and we accept them. What we do not accept are liars, right. thieves, yeah. Yeah. rapists, yeah. murderers, yeah. fornicators, adulterers, oath breakers, drug addicts, or criminals of any kind from this life or the one before. Yeah. 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 How you conduct yourself, how you act in the eyes of God, these are things that you do control. Any soldier or officer found guilty of any transgression, no matter how small, will be brought here to this very scaffold and will be hanged by the neck until they are dead. This punishment may seem cruel to some of you, but you have my promise. Any punishment of ours is a great mercy compared to the punishment of God that is being unleashed on the world outside these walls. None of us is perfect. We do not expect perfection. What we do expect is obedience, order, and discipline. Give us these things, and we will win this war. Company dismissed.
St. John, come in. Taylor, Deacon St. John. Taylor, haven't heard from you in a while. I was afraid that maybe you'd gotten too close to that man you were tracking. Oh, I'm close, all right. I'm right in the friggin' backyard. Hey, I need your help, man. I'm, I'm at, the, at a small camp south of Crater Lake, just off the South Rim Drive. Taylor, listen to me. I have no idea what you're doing, but you got... Oh, shit! No, no, no! Let me go! Taylor? Taylor! Oh, damn it! St. John to Lieutenant Whitaker. Come back. Switching to a private channel. Hold on. Deacon, are you there? Yeah. Uh, hey, so I, I looked at that requisition form. It says that you want silicate? Yeah, silicate. I use it as a distilling medium in the column chromatographer. Ah, uh, column chrom... what? <sighs> Sorry, it's just... It's the one part of my research that's actually going well. So, silicate, where do I get it? Oh, shit, I thought I marked it on the rack. Hold on. Okay, there's this little general store southwest of us, near Mazama Village. You should be able to find it there. Okay, got it. Thank you. Sorry, never mind. <clears throat> Carry on, Corporal. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Lieutenant. Sarah, out. Silicate. What the fuck is silicate, anyway?
Hey, uh, where else am I gonna go? And if I leave, they're gonna make me get back this really cool hat, so I'm starting to like this hat. I mean, really. <laughs> I bet. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I gotta get back to work. This yeast has already filled up, like, half a dozen Petri dishes. Okay. Save me some of the viral proteins. I got an appetite out here. I'll do that. Lieutenant Whitaker out. Sir, St. John out. 